Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, question seven from the 2018 paper. Uh, this is a functions question, leave insert higher level. Um, so in the time in days of practice, it takes Jack to learn to type X words per minute. Uh, WPM can be modeled by the function T of X is equal to K times the natural log of one minus X over 80, where X is between zero and 70, and K is a constant. Based on the function t of x, Jack can learn to type 35 words per minute in 35.96 days. Write the function above in terms of k and hence show that k is equal to minus 62.5 correct to one decimal place. So I have two things that I can sub into my function. I have 35 words per minute and I have 35.96 days. Now t of x is days, x is words per minute, so that would be 35.96 is equal to k times the natural log of 1 minus 35 over 80. I want to isolate k, so that would be dividing both sides by this. So k is equal to 35.96 divided by the natural log of 1 minus 35 over 80. So I can put that into my calculator um, and see what, what it comes out as. Now I'm told that it should come out as minus 62.5, which it does, but you might just uh, check it on your own calculator that you can do that calculation um, just because there's some brackets and logs in there. There's a few bits going on. So type it into your calculator, make sure you're getting that. If you're not, um, ask in the comments below and might be able to figure out what you're doing wrong. Uh, part B, find a number of words per minute that Jack uh, can learn to type with 100 days of practice. Give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So I'm going to use the same function again. Um, I have 100 days of practice. I know K. I'm going to solve for X. So it's 100 is equal to minus 62.5 times the natural log of 1 minus x over 80 and I'm looking for x. So what I need to do first is divide both sides by minus 62.5 so that would be 100 divided by minus 62.5 that's equal to the natural log of 1 minus x over 80. Uh, if I have natural log I want to take uh, e to the power of both sides so that'll be e to the power of 100 over 62.5 minus 62.5 is equal to e to the power of the natural log of 1 minus x over 80. Now I know that e and natural log are inverses of each other so they cancel out so that means e to the power of 100 over minus 62.5 is equal to 1 minus x over 80. I wouldn't go calculating this yet. What I'm going to do is isolate x fully and then type it into my calculator in one go. So it's going to be e to the power of 100 over minus 62.5 minus the 1 and then it's going to be multiplied by minus 80 whole thing multiplied by minus 80 and that would isolate my x so I can type that into my calculator now so uh, e to the power of 100 over minus uh, 62.5 minus 1 um, that's not sorry that's a uh, in my power I need to bring that down uh, minus 1 uh, let's go equals and then multiply it by minus 80 and that gives me 63.84 so x is equal to 63.84 to the nearest whole number x is approximately equal to 64 and that's words per minute Okay, part C. Complete the table below, uh, correct the nearest whole number, and hence draw the graph 
uh, for x between 0 and 70. So we would have to go and input all of these values into the function. Uh, the function again was t of x is equal to k which was minus 62.5 times the natural log of 1 minus x over 80. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. Um, you, the long way would be to fill in this with each of these x's um, and get uh, say the t of 0, t of 10, t of 20, etc. Or you can go to your calculator and use the function um, function on the calculator. So we go to mode uh, table. So this gives us the option to put in a function. So f of x, if I type in my function here like it is, so it's minus 62.5 uh, times the natural log of 1 minus uh, x, so alpha x over 80. Close the brackets. Press equals. Want to start at 0. Press equals. Want to end at 70. So and at 70 equals, and we want to step up in tens because we're going up zero to 70 in tens. So 10 as our step, and we're given a table here like this. Um, now, complete the table correct to the nearest whole number. So zero and zero. 10 and 8.3, so that's eight. 20 and 17.98, so that's 18. We can work down now at uh, 30 and 29.375, so that's 29. 40 and 43.32, so that's 43. Uh, 50 and 61.3, so that's 61. 60 and 86.6, .6, so that's 87. And then 70 and 129.96, so that's 130. So that's the quick way of using um, your calculator to do it. Um, I would always show a little bit of work, so write down um, your t of x, write down your function, and then you can fill it in, and um, that would be enough to get the marks. Uh, hence, draw the graph, so that's over on the next page here, and the graph is actually given to us, so can line up these here so this is just a matter of plotting different points so we have 0 0 we have 10 8 we have 20 18 30 29 50 61 Uh, 60, 87, 87, and 70, 130. So there it is there. Join with a curve. Like so. Now, just be careful that you get one smooth curve. So always draw your graphs in pencil in case you do if you do make a mistake like that you, you might lose some marks for the messiness there so if you have it in pencil you won't make mistakes and if you do make mistakes you can rub it out part d a simpler function that could also be used to model uh, the number of days needed to attain x word per minutes is p of x is equal to 1.5 x uh, on the diagram above uh, the dot uh, draw on the diagram above the graph of p of x for 0 to 70. So we need to find some values here. Uh, it's a linear function, so two values will do. So if I find the p is 0, p of 0, 1.5 times 0 is 0. So that's a point there, 0, 0, which I have here. And then for 70, so the p of 70 is equal to... 1.5 times 70, which is uh, 105. So I have to point 70, comma 105. 
so there's 105 here like that and then join up this point with this point here uh, using a ruler um, I don't have a ruler at hand so I'll just draw a rough sketch in like this but always use a ruler for these uh, type of questions uh, part E then uh, let h of x equal to px minus tx so that's um, the linear function minus the original function uh, use your graphs above to estimate the solution to hx equal to zero so when is p of x minus t of x equal to zero well you go to your graph and it's the point of intersection so it's somewhere here so i'd imagine in uh in the exam you're allowed somewhere in the region of 60 to 64 and um, the marking scheme the correct answer is 62 words per minute um, and there's a tolerance of plus minus two. So anywhere from 60 to 64 words per minute is acceptable. And the last part then, use calculus to find the maximum value of h of x uh, for uh, x between zero and 70 and give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So if we are looking for a maximum value, then that means the first derivative uh, h dash of x is equal to zero, and we uh, find uh, x then for that. So that means we have to differentiate. So h of x is equal to 1.5x plus 62.5 log of 1 minus x over 80 so that is uh, p of x minus or yeah p of x minus the t of x uh, so that's the p of x part of it there and minus t of x uh, turns the minus 62.5 into the plus 62.5 so we want to differentiate this so h dash of x uh, differentiate 1.5 x you get 1.5 uh, differentiate 62 log of this what you get is uh, 62.5 times uh, 1 over so differentiate log it's 1 over that 1 over 1 minus x over 80 but then we have this inside here so it's a chain rule so it's times the derivative of what's inside here uh, derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of minus x over 80 is minus 1 over 80. Uh, you could think of that as minus 1 over 80x, so then it's just minus 1 over 80. So that is the first derivative of h of x. Uh, so we want to let that equal to 0, and we're solving for x. So what do we have? We have... Uh, 1.5 we can put the minus 1.5 there uh, we can divide by 62.5 and we can also divide by minus 1 over 80 so that is equal to uh, this bit here 1 over 1 minus x over 80. Uh, we want to get this x over 80 out on its own. So I can cross multiply here to get 62.5 times minus 1 over 80 equal to minus uh, 1.5 times 1 minus x over 80. Um, divide both sides by minus 1.5 so let me just divide by minus 1.5 so then that's gone uh, then I'm going to take away 1 and multiply by minus 80 so that would be 62.5 times minus 1 over 80 divided by minus 1.5 take away the 1 and multiply it all by minus 80 and that will be equal to x 
So let's get the calculator and type that in as it is there. Uh, we need to go back to normal mode. So that will be uh, open bracket fraction 62.5 uh, times minus 1 over 80 uh, 80 close that bracket go down to get minus 1.5 over here we have minus 1 uh, close the big bracket times it by minus 80 and that should be our 38.3 so x is equal to 38.3 now that's words uh, per minute we want to find how many days uh, this takes so that would be subbing in 38.3 uh, into our function uh, so sub 38.3 into this here and that would be the h of 38.3 equals so we in 38.3 38.3 and it works out to be 17 days okay so uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions uh, just ask in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video